hello everyone how's it going welcome back to our channel in today's video we're going to learn how to install press the shop on a local host using map pro so before the installation we must know about the press the shop requirements so let's check on it so this is the chart that you have to follow uh, especially this recommended ones uh, especially the memory limit should be 256 m the post max size should be 128 m and upload max file size should be 128 m and also we'll have to check the php requirements first so as we're using 1.7.8 prestashop so our php version should be 7.4 we'll have to check on this before we install it so now we're going to start the download We'll download the PrestaShop from PrestaShop.com. As we can see, the download button is deactivated, so we'll have to activate it. Just by clicking on it, the download button will be activated. So let's start the download process. Uh, the download has been started, and it will be finished in a bit. It's not a very big file size. So the download has been finished. Show it in folder. So we'll have to copy this zip. Let's copy it and we'll have to paste it in our local host. This is a local host folder and we'll, we're gonna paste it over here. Uh, and now we're gonna extract the folder. So this is the extracted folder and we will have to delete this zip file. And now we'll rename this folder to anything we want. I'm gonna rename it to press the shop. All the installation files are here. So now we'll have to activate our map. So by clicking start, our map will be activated and our localhost server will be running. And also we'll have to check if our Apache and MySQL is on or not. Now we're gonna start the process. So our MySQL and Apache is already on and map has already been started. Now we'll go to the localhost. Local localhost slash your folder name as i renamed my folder prestashop so i'll type prestashop here and by hitting enter our installation process has been started here we'll have to wait a bit because it will take some time as we can see the installation is almost finished the first part of the installation is finished. So before starting this next process, we'll have to create the database. So let's go to our database, phpMyAdmin. So this is phpMyAdmin and we'll go to databases and create a new database. So anything we can name it. We can name anything, but we're gonna name it to database underscore store. So this is the name we're gonna name it and by clicking it, our database will be created. So as we can see, our database is created. So now we're gonna close it and start the installation second process. You can choose your language from here. I'm gonna go with English. We're gonna click next. Then in the license agreements, we have to read the whole thing and then click on agree. So as I've already read it, so I'm gonna click agree and 
click on next now we'll have to give all the information about our store your preferred name then the category install demonstration data yes country your preferred country and enable ssl no because we are using it on a local host server so no ssl we're going to use ssl on live server now we're going to fill up the names email address and your password then retype your password and next now this is very important as we can see our database server address and an ip along with it if you're using uh, windows or linux the ip will be the same but if you're using mac then you'll have to type localhost now as i'm using mac my server will be localhost our database name was database underscore store database login root database password root table prefix is anything but ps so we're gonna add a letter here i'm gonna add f here so fps and now we'll check our database connection so as we can see the database is connected because uh, the name was right if uh, if you put anything wrong here or if you put a wrong spelling here the data won't be connected so we're gonna go to the next process the main installation has been started we'll have to wait a bit So we are back at 67% and this is the place where most of the people faces problems and installation stops. So what we have to do is we'll have to follow the instructions that are already showed in the beginning of the video. So if you follow that instruction, the system configuration and the PHP compatibility, if you follow that, you'll have no problem. One of the other reasons is you must have fast internet. Uh, if you have slow internet then the problem might show up at 67 percent and eventually the installation will stop so you have to note that you will always have to have fast internet we can see our installation is complete so now we're gonna have to check our front office and as we can see uh, for security purposes, you must delete the install folder. So we'll check that later. At first, we'll check our front office. So as you can see, everything is perfect and fine. And but if you if we do not delete the install folder. Uh, we cannot access the back uh, back office so now we'll have to go to our local host folder where we installed press the shop and we'll have to find the install folder this is the install folder and we'll have to delete this one so now everything should be fine and now we can go to our back office or you can say admin panel so here we go the admin panel login is here we'll have to log in from here we'll have to put our email address and the password
So after putting our email address and password, our dashboard is ready. So this is the back office and this is the dashboard. We can change everything from here. We can change the themes, the colors, the images and everything. We'll talk about that later on another video. Anyways, if you liked our video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment below. And if you still haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe our channel. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching.